Good morning. I am Mrs. M. Sasikala, Assistant Professor, Department of English. Today I am going to narrate the story, short story Face, written by Alice Munro. The short story Face was written by Alice Munro. The story is narrated by the protagonist of the story. The story starts with the narrator who tells about his birth and his mark on his face. His father doesn't like him because he has purple like droplets on his left side of his face. His father hates him and doesn't want to want him to come to his house. The mark is like a chunk of chopped liver. His mother enters with him to their house. This brings rift between his father and mother. His grandfather owned a tannery and glove factory, but it faded gradually. So his father goes to college and studies well. He starts the insurance business and becomes popular. He further tells that his father is a golfer and sailor. He always hates and despises the narrator at home. So he takes breakfast alone. He doesn't come home for lunch. This makes his mother sad. Gradually, his father's health condition is worsened because of smoking and drinking. When the narrator is studying second year in college, his father dies. Now the narrator tells about his school life. His mother sends him to school. In a school, he is treated by other students in different manner. He is called grape nuts by other students because of his mark on his left cheek. When he is studying in college, he is interested in play and standing jokes. He becomes popular because of his voice and narration of the story. He gets a chance in na national radio to narrate the story of Shakespeare and Ibsen. He has been conducting a musical show for the past 20 years. He has got minimum appreciation, but the show has received lots of letters from various class people. Finally, he retires from his job. He refuses to give nostalgic speeches regarding his experience. After his mother's death, he has rented his old house, but he has decided to sell it. He was once close with the receptionist who had four children. After his retirement, he invited her to come to his house. Later, he came to know that she married someone and settled in Ireland. Now he narrates about the garden of his old house. Pete is the gardener, both dislike each other. The narrator tells us that it is because of physical misfortune from both sides. Now the story moves a couple of decades ago. Small cottage has been built in their old house. Ginny and Franz are the new gardeners. They had brought teeny children to cut the grass in the garden. There, there was another couple called Bells. Mrs. Bell was a cook and housekeeper. Mr. Bell was a gardener and chauffeur. They work under the narrator's grandfather. It is called Bell Cottage till now. Bell couple had gone. Sharon Shuttle family settled down in their cottage. Her husband was a doctor. Her daughter's name was Nancy. After Sharon's husband's death, she was working in the narrator's father's insurance company. They lived in Bell's cottage. The narrator says that Sharon might be the mistress of his father. Nancy and the narrator became close and played together. One day, the narrator and Nancy went to the cellar. They were playing with the paint which was in that room. Unfortunately, Nancy colored her face like the narrator and told him that her face was like him. This made the narrator and his mother angry. The narrator's mother called her, you nasty little beast. Velma was a mage. She pacified the narrator's mother. The narrator's mother wilted the cordon to pacify her anger. Next day, Nancy and her mother left the Bell's cottage. They could not be seen anywhere. After the narrator's father's funeral, his mother asked the narrator to take her for dinner in any restaurant. Both of them drank wine. The narrator's mother had told about Nancy. Nancy had cut her cheeks on her left side with a razor blade and got hurt. It was a similar mark of the narrator. Her cheek was full of blood. She had done this to look like the narrator. The narrator became quiet. He didn't tell anything. After a few minutes, he told his mother that the plastic surgeon would have done. But a, cheap, but a deep feeling entered, had entered into the mind of the narrator about Nancy. 
One day, the narrator was stung by the wasp on his eyelid when he tried to clean the rotten apples. So his both eyes were bandaged. He was in the hospital. Suddenly, he heard footsteps of someone. She told him that she is a reader and wanted to read something for him. He asked her to read poetry. She told him that they can play like a game in this poetry reading. She told him that she would read two lines of the poem and the next two lines should be read by the narrator. The narrator accepted. She told him that his voice was good in radio. After reading few poems, she said she should go now. Before she left, she, re she, re she read the few lines of the poem. Then she came near the narrator and laid her cheek on his cheek. She further told him that his place was left vacant. After a few minutes, he realized that the woman who came and read poetry was none other than Nancy. He wanted to run behind her and wanted to lay his face on her wounded cheeks, but she left. So he decided that she doesn't want his old house to be sold. It is a place where he played with Nancy and departed because of their misunderstanding. One day when he when he took old books to donate, a brownish paper was in that book. He found some lines of the poetry and believed that the woman was who visited him in the hospital was Nancy. Finally, the narrator concludes by saying that one day he might meet Nancy somewhere like Subway. He would have noticed a scar but wouldn't have come into their conversation. The writer clearly tells about the strong bond between the narrator and Nancy. It also tells about the real love of Nancy towards the narrator unconditionally. Thank you students. Thank you for listening and thank you for watching.